Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. In this session, we will discuss about NumPy library and its few functions. Okay. So what is NumPy? NumPy stands for Numerical Python. Okay, and it is a library consisting of a multi-dimensional array objects and a collection of routines to process these arrays. I mean, using NumPy, we can create an array objects and also we can perform a mathematical and logical operation on these arrays. The most important object defined in NumPy is an n-dimensional array, okay, and its uh, its data type will be always uh, called as an nd array. Basically, it describes you know collection of items of the same type, and these items in the collection can be accessed using you know a zero-based index. So let us see how to create an n-dimensional array. So this is my Jupyter notebook. Let me open the Python cell. Okay, now to create an n-dimensional array object, first of all, I have to import the NumPy library. So let me import the NumPy library. Now, to create a uh, n-dimensional array, we have to use a, a function called array. Okay. So let me create a variable of. Okay. So np dot array is a fun okay function. Now inside this uh, function, we have to you have to pass a li list value. Okay. So let's suppose if I wanted to create a okay array for uh, values like one, two, and three. Okay, so this is the syntax to create a you know, n-dimensional array. Okay, so let me run this. Okay, I execute it. Now let us see what is the value. Okay, so my array object got created. Okay, now let me check the data type of uh, this array object. Okay, it's a numpy dot nd array. So the type of this object A is nd array. Okay, using uh, array function we can create a n-dimensional arrays. Okay, now to access these values, okay, using a, a zero index uh, base, you know, we can achieve that. So using, let's suppose if I wanted to uh, get the value of one, okay, I mean this value, okay, use the zero as an index value, like this. If you wanted to get the value for a second value, then use index of one, okay. So like this, you can uh, get the values of this collection or this array object. The object what we have created that is you know one dimensional array. Now if you wanted to create a multi and a more than one dimension, let's suppose in my case I'm going to create a two dimensional array. How can we create? So for that, okay, I'm going uh, creating a new object. Same function to be used. Okay. Now let's suppose I'm creating a two dimensional array for the you know the uh, four values. Okay, one, comma two. It will be my one dimension, first dimension, and the second dimension will be three and four. Okay. Yeah, and one more bracket I'll have to use. So basically, these many brackets will represent you know what dimensions you're going to. So I'm going to create a two dimensions. I'll have to use uh, two brackets. Okay, at the beginning, just after this bracket. Okay. Let me create. Okay. Let me check. Yeah. So this is now two dimensional array got created. Okay. Now to access these values, okay. Now to access the first row, okay, you can use a syntax like this. And for a second row, use this, okay. Now if you wanted to access the uh, the value first row, okay, then you have to use a same command with zero. And if you wanted to get the second value of first row, then use a second x, okay. Hope you understand uh, how to create the array objects. Now we will see a few you know, array attribute uh, methods, okay, which will help us to understand the structure of these array objects. So shape is one of the method, okay, which tells you know how many rows and how many columns are there in my n-dimensional array, okay. So let me check. B is my array object, right? Now I'll use shape. Okay, this is my two rows, two columns. Okay, now now next attribute will be n dim n dimension so n dim so b dot n dim so basically this will give you the it will tell you the uh, what is the dimension of your uh, array objects so basically my b is you know the two dimensional objects so it is giving two similarly if you change to a it's a one dimension okay we have one more attribute called i item size which is used to tell the size of each element in in bytes okay so b dot item size 
so four I mean these are the the values which takes four byte of you know, the memory for each element okay so these were the few you no know, uh, array attributes now we will see few methods to you know create a array objects okay so if you wanted to create a array object okay with the unspecified or uninitialized array values okay by giving some uh, shape and data types okay for that we have a method called empty okay using uh, empty method we can create a array object with you know uninitialized array values so let me create np dot empty okay now i have to give the dimensions okay and uh, it's data type so call it d type let's take uh, i'm taking int okay now now let me run okay so these numbers will be you know uh, random numbers i would say if i re-execute okay the values will get changed now if you wanted to create a uh, array object okay with a specify with a specifying a, you know dimension its dimension but the values you would like to fill with the zeros okay so for that we have a method called zeros okay using uh, zeros method we can achieve that we can create a, that kind of that array object okay so let me create zeros in bracket let me give the dimensions and the shape of that array, array object so here is this okay so by default it will be the floating values if you give explicitly the data type okay let's say integer if you want it will convert and it will give you the integer values okay similarly if you wanted to create a new array object uh, with uh, you know uh, by specifying the, its dimension and uh, uh, values with the one okay so for that also we have a default method okay called ones okay So here, in using this method, you can uh, create a uh, array object with the filled by filled by ones. So that's all for today's session, guys. I hope you understand, you know, how to create a array objects and what are the attributes we have, and you know, uh, and what are the ways to you know create an array object using these uh, given uh, default methods. If you like my video, please click on like button and please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.